Hello, this is Oliver at Bedford Car Sales, and this is the walk around video for our 2010 Emerald Green Jaguar XKR. Um, gorgeous looking thing, this unusual and emerald green. It's almost British racing green, but not quite. Um, very, very, very nice looking car overall this. We know this car well. Uh, we sold it to the previous owner around two years ago, um, and he's off back to the States. So um, he said, would we like to have it back? So we have. Um, gorgeous looking car, this really nice indeed. Um, ridiculously well maintained, and I mean ludicrous service history. Um, fantastic looking car and there's just something about a jaguar and green with cream interior it just works um i'm a big fan of the xkr i had a convertible myself I only just recently changed it um had mine for two years fantastic absolutely lovely machine so let's open her up and show you around the inside cream leather as you can see beautiful condition overall really nice indeed really nice indeed rear seats Seen little to no use, I would say. Overall, fantastic condition. Really nice indeed. Something else to note with this one as well. It's got Alcantara headlining, which is very nice. Uh, it's also got the Baron Wilkins stereo system as well. Uh, full electric memory seating um, and adjustable seat bolsters. So if you twist this little knob here, uh, it tightens the seat bolsters up for you. Very nice indeed. So, um, perfect elegant mix to be honest with you as you can see there's lots of piano black running through very nice indeed let's fire her up so the key let's go so she's on 93,123 miles, which bearing in mind, 14 year old car, um, still pretty low mileage to be honest with you. Um, it's lovely, absolutely lovely in here, really nice. There's nothing not to like, um, gorgeous looking car. So these later ones, the five liters, 2009 onwards, um, have the telescopic gear knob, same as the 2012 Range Rover Sport. Whereas the older cars had the J-Gate gearbox, um, which were the 4.2 litre V8s as opposed to the 5 litre, which this one is. Um, overall, lovely. There's nothing not to like about this car. Um, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, parking sensors all round. We'll carry on with the gearbox and uh, pop it in drive. So then if you push down and twist, you've then got a sport mode. So as it shows up there, you've got the S highlighted as opposed to the D, so switch it back. Um, so yeah, the gorgeous car. That really does sharpen it up as well. And we also have a dynamic mode down here as well. So when you put it in dynamic mode, that really sharpens things up. Um, so overall, really nice indeed, really nice indeed. And so the spec on this one's very good. So you've got auto lights, auto wipers, cruise control on this side here. Uh, you've got stereo controls, paddle shift either side. And so there's nothing not to like really. You've also got heated seats and cooling seats in this one as well. So it pumps the air conditioning into the seats. Um, so there's a little fan just started up now and that's pumping the air con into this seat here. Fantastic. And this one does also have the heated steering wheel as well, which is a rare optional extra. Uh, full book pack, all present and correct there within the glove box. Um, overall, lovely. There, there is nothing not to like about this car. I love these, I think they're fantastic. Um, so, stereo system. So we've got Bow, Bow and Wilkins system. Uh, so this does have DAB, this one as well. Bow and Wilkins system is of very good quality, as you can hear. Very crisp, very clear. Right, so everything on this works for a touchscreen system. So you've got AM, FM, DAB. You've got CD as well and portable audio. So you've got USB and uh, iPod connectivity as well. So iPod connection here with a very old school iPod connector, uh, USB. Also as well, there's this slot here. So I'll explain to you what that is. So if your battery goes dead in your key, obviously then you're gonna to struggle to start the car. So you have to put the key inside this slot here. It electronically pulls down and it allows you to start the car up. Um, but as I say, overall spec wise, these are really nice to be honest with you. Really nice indeed. So climate system. So you can select your temperature, sink, air conditioning settings and everything in there. Uh, so carrying on through. Uh, Bluetooth telephone as well. And navigation. 
So, as I say, overall, um, bearing in mind the age of the car, the spec is still very good. I feel very good indeed. Um, it's just something about these, they're fantastic. As I say, I've recently just got rid of my convertible one and I had it over two years, which is a record for me as far as cars go. Um, and I absolutely loved it. Um, next summer, I will probably be looking for another one, but a bit newer than the one I had. Um, they're a fantastic car, superb value for money. I mean, performance and build quality, you can't get a lot better for the money than these. Um, the XKR is superb. Right, let's uh, jump out and we'll show you around a little bit more. It does also have as well power folding mirrors, so I'll show you those as well. All the usual toys one would expect on a car of this caliber. Pop the boots, we can show you under there in a second. Oh, let's just give her a little rev for you. Sounds fantastic. Lovely. Now, bearing in mind this is a GT car, space-wise, the boot's huge. Look at that, the boot is massive. You get absolutely loads in these, absolutely loads. Really good, the convertible, you get this much. Um, so comparison's not quite the same. Uh, so underneath that panel there is the DVD drive for the nav system, tucked away under here. Loads of additional storage space. Um, along with uh, European travel emergency kit as well. Because obviously Jaguar of this age doesn't have a spare wheel. Iconic spoiler across the back there. And those lovely quad stainless steel exhaust. Fantastic. Big zeros on the car. So good tyres. Passenger rear. Again, beautiful condition, really nice indeed. Passenger front, again, this this does not look like a 90,000 mile car. The condition of it overall is fantastic. Again, you've got electric memory, uh, heated, cooling and ventilated seat on the passenger side as well. Let's uh, pop the bonnet actually, and we'll show you under there as well. It's obviously Jaguar sports cars. Ever since the E-Type, I've always had the bonnet that opens backwards. So same with the XJS. Same with the XK8, same with these later XKs and the F-Types. So, there you go, five litre supercharged V8, look at that. Silky smooth as you can hear, spotlessly clean under there. This car has been loved, absolutely loved. Babied, I think is the way to describe it. So the gentleman that had it had it purely as a weekend car. And I think in the two and a bit years he's owned it, he's only done about two and a half thousand miles. So the 2010 model has the lighter front end, so it has the same lights as the early 2006, 2007 cars, but slightly different bumper. Uh, 2012 onwards, they changed the lights as well with daytime running lights in, um, and the bumper design again. But overall, as I say, bearing in mind the age of the car, if I've been hypercritical, couple of stone chips here and there, but overall, for the age of the car, fantastic. Right, so this astonishing looking XKR will come with a 12 month MOT, it'll also come with a 12 month premium breakdown cover package and a 6 month premium warranty as well and we're one of the only dealers out there to offer such a comprehensive package as standard with our cars. We do also offer as well free delivery within 125 miles, so if you can't come to us we can come to you. So this concludes my walk around video on our Emerald Green Jaguar XKR. If you have any questions, anything at all, please do not hesitate to either give us a call, ping us over a message, or send us an email. We'll do our very best to help you. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a lovely day.